Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare inventory. I did mention this in my low buy introduction video that I wanted to go through my skincare and just share with you some of the numbers. It is an exercise that I think is so important for me personally because I get to better know what's in my collection. Like I went through all of the drawers and cabinets and in my shower and in my jacket pockets. I went through everything and found every single product from my collection at least that I could find through the hunt. So I just feel like it's such a great exercise because you get to really better know what you have, categorize things so that when I do end up using something up, I can better know what I already have on hand instead of just simply feeling like it's a reason to maybe purchase something new, unless of course it's a very specific type of product that I don't have an alternative for, then I am allowing myself to buy something new, new even through this no buy period of my low buy year because when it comes to skincare, I don't want to be like without a cleanser or without a moisturizer or something like that. But I really do want to adhere to a more one in one out, if necessary, kind of routine for myself when it comes to skincare, not only through this low buy period or year, but actually just on an ongoing basis through the rest of my life. That's really what I want to kind of instill in myself. So I have gone through all of the categories and photographed everything. So I'm gonna share with you the photos so you can see exactly everything that I own. And yeah, let's just hop on into all the numbers before I get too rambly as per usual, okay? Let's get on into it. So the first category I have is cleansing balms slash makeup removers. These are like cleansing oils or yeah, makeup removing types of products. This is like the first cleanse in a double cleanse kind of routine. So I have only three products in this category, two of which are open, one of which I have yet to open. It is the ordinary one that's unopened. However, I have used that in the past. It wasn't like an absolute favorite kind of standout product for me but I am familiar with it. And once I do finish up the Versed and the Coco Kind cleansers, I think I will be more than okay to work my way through the squalane one from the ordinary and then reevaluate at that time what I want as that first cleanse. So I'm really happy with that category, but I imagine for the future, I don't need more than one item in that category. I really don't even know why it's up to three at the moment, but yes, one would be totally sufficient. The next category is micellar water. And although you will see two on the screen right now, or like two packages, this is actually only one micellar water. I had the 500 ml bottle of Bioderma, which my mom gifted to me, and I ended up depotting it into two different types of packaging because I was using it out of that packaging and I had held onto the old my, uh, Marcel micellar water, which is so hard to say together. I held onto that packaging because I love that pump. I thought that would be great for like nail polish remover or for other sort of skincare products like toner. And it came in perfectly handy to just actually use for micellar water again. I ended up depotting it into that. And then I ended up using the remainder of the product in the Derma E hydrating mist bottle because that way it's something nice and small but handy that I can use down at my makeup vanity and I can use it like to just clean up any sort of messes that I have like fallout or whatever while I'm doing my makeup for the day and I don't have to be toting around that big bottle from my bathroom down to my vanity or vice versa. So it is actually just one bottle of Bioderma which I am not going to repurchase when I'm done with this bottle of it. However, I am probably just gonna purchase that Marcel one again because I really like the packaging and it works just as well as Bioderma and it's cruelty free. It's a Canadian brand, I believe, and it's way more inexpensive. But yes, only one micellar water, which is really where I wanna keep it after all that being said. I really just wanna keep it at one. And the next category is cleanser. And for that, I have five cleansers. One is like my tried and true absolute favorite, the Pacifica Kale Detox. That's one I'm just going to constantly be repurchasing. The rest of them I'm kind of indifferent about. And the Three Ships one, which is looks like a little toner or like oil kind of bottle. So I wasn't really sure where to categorize that, but my sister gifted that to me for my birthday and I've not yet tried it at all. I. Uh, I don't know what to do with it quite yet, but I had honestly forgotten about it and it was a good thing that I did this because it was in the back of my drawer downstairs 
nowhere near my bathroom. So it's a good thing that I've gone through this exercise and I can figure out how to get some use out of that product. But five is way more cleansers than I need. Um, I am going to try to work my way through the Andalou one, the Derma E and the Pacifica, the coconut milk one. And I won't repurchase any of those. I'd really just like to keep the kale detox and then maybe one just gentle one for in case I need something in the mornings. But generally in the morning, I just use water and a washcloth and that's it. I don't tend to go in with a cleanser in the morning and the kale detox is just my tried and true absolute favorite that I love to use at nighttime. It feels super like cleansing, deep, super deep cleansing, but also it's not too abrasive. I don't know. I really like it. It's just, it's just the thing that I know works for me. So I'm not going to stray from that anymore, I think. And so yeah, that category could definitely be at one. It's just a matter of using up the remaining four. And then the next category I have here is exfoliating scrubs. So these are like actual physical exfoliating products. I have separated these from the chemical exfoliants because these do function in a very different way and I don't use these near as often as the chemical exfoliants and so I wanted to potentially just bring this number down to zero. It is currently only at two, so it's not too wild. It's not too out there. Um, I definitely could bring this number down to zero and be totally, totally happy. I don't tend to reach for these at all. In fact, the Cure one that I have, I do actually just typically use like on my neck and shoulders and on my legs even. I tend to use it more on my body than on my face. It's quite abrasive. And then the other one is a small little drunk elephant one that came with the cleansing balm, which I used up over the course of six months and totally forgot to use the exfoliator with it. So that just goes to show how little I use physical exfoliant. So this was a really good practice just to remind myself that I had that and I'm going to try to use that up alongside the first cleansing balm and kind of use it in the same way that it was intended to be used with the Drunk Elephant product, but I don't need either of these. I use them so, so infrequently. It's just not an essential step for me. One day eventually though, I may get like a powder exfoliant. I'm thinking like that Tatcha one or like Dermalogica offers one like that as well, just because that is something that offers that physical exfoliant, but it's not super like abrasive or harsh. And it's something I could just store like indefinitely and use alongside other products from my collection, including cleansers. So that might be something eventually, but I have to work my way through these before I move on to purchasing something comparable to that product. The next category is the chemical exfoliants. So these are like those more cream or liquid overnight sort of exfoliating kind of products. So I have only two in this category, which I'm totally cool with. I think that's great. I honestly thought I had more when I was going through these, but Two is perfect. In fact, one would be even more perfect. I would love to have just one retinol sort of product. I don't necessarily think that lactic acid is that effective on my skin personally. I feel like my skin is very resilient to lactic acid, but retinol my skin does react very well to as well as glycolic acid. So I do have some chemical exfoliating toners that are in a separate category, but I'm totally cool with having these two, but as I work my way through them, I'm gonna kind of reevaluate if this is something that I even find is necessary because like I said, I do have some toning products that offer some chemical exfoliation as well. The next category is face mask. I just lumped all of my face masks together into one category and I have five. This number isn't anything excessive. I feel like five is totally an okay number of face masks to have. However, I just don't feel like I need that. I would be totally happy having only that Redmond bentonite clay because I do find that that is just so effective for me personally for like decongesting my skin and making my skin just very, very clarified versus all the other ones, they are okay. But I just don't feel like face masks are that effective for me. I don't tend to want to do them very often either just because I'm kind of lazy. So I don't really feel drawn to using face masks. So many of these I've had for several years and I'm slowly, slowly working my way through them. But yeah, if I could just get this down to the one and just hold on to that for forever because it's just a powder clay, I could just literally hold on to that for an eternity and it probably would never turn or it would take a long time to go bad on me. Definitely not mad at having five face masks though, but I will be like rotating through these 
in my non-makeup project pan so that I can work my way through all of them minus the bentonite clay. And then the next category I have is toner and for that I do have those glycolic acid toners and other toning type of products and altogether I have four products in this category. That is totally fine with me. I would like to maybe bring this down to like two or three, but the ones that I do have, I'm very happy with. I'm working my way through the Pixie one, which is just a mini. It's like 40 milliliters or something, or even less than that, perhaps. I really like that Derma E one, which is a great alternative to the Pixie. And then I have very, very little left in both of the Coco Kind ones, which I have. I love them both. I really like them both, the clarifying one and the like more balancing one so good they are so so good i might repurchase both of those when they're both gone we'll see kind of reevaluate at the time as well just see where my skin is at but i'm totally fine with having like three two three four kind of toning products i use them every single day morning and night so i'm okay with that and the next category is serums i didn't want to break this up by like the ingredients or the concerns that they target or anything like that. I'm just trying to keep this as easy for myself as possible. So I have seven serums. Um, three of those are different vitamin C serums. Well, there's two different variations. And then I have hydrating serum and then I have a couple more targeted sort of serums that are more ingredient based. And so Really, realistically, this does not need to be seven. This could be something like four or five, and that would be totally, totally fine. So throughout this year, I do want to work my way through some of these, eliminate them from my collection, and really figure out what it is that I find most effective and works really well for my skin. I do think that hyaluronic acid is a great ingredient for me. I'm not so sure that vitamin C does something that's like impeccable or like life-changing for me even though I have so many. One I did receive from Influencer and the other two I did get in PR from Derma E so that's the reason why they're really there to be entirely honest with you so I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this needs to be but seven definitely is more than I need. This next category is facial oils and for that I only have three. I am totally fine with that number. It would even be okay if it went down to two and I don't see that being a problem to get it down to two very soon because the Drunk Elephant one is just a mini. It has barely any product in it and I've been using it for like a year and a half at this point on and off. So I'm sure that's something I can work my way through relatively quickly. So I'm totally okay with that number. I. Like I said, I can see that going down to two and still being totally sufficient. I use facial oil every single day at nighttime and I love having it in my routine. So I'm happy to have, yeah, two, three is cool, but two would be ideal. This next category is moisturizer. And if you had looked at my skincare inventory even less than a year ago, this would have been such a high number, but now I'm down to only two. And one of them is my daytime moisturizer. The other one is my nighttime moisturizer. I'm totally cool with that. That's kind of the system I wanna have from here on out with my moisturizers. Patrick and I both use the Derma E1. He finds it's really great on his skin during the day because he does have very, very dry skin. And then I use the ordinary one during the day underneath makeup because I do find the Derma E is just a little bit too rich for me personally um, during the day. But at night, I love that product. I think that's gonna be one of our standards to have in the routine and in our rotation at all times. The Derma E one is so nice, it smells so good, and it's really, really hydrating but I'm totally cool with having two, one for day and one for night. Next up is sunscreens and I have three. I did include one that's technically like a body sunscreen, which is the ThinkSport one, it's SPF 50, but I used that a handful of times on my face over this past summer. And so I figured I would just count it in this, even though I'm not really talking about my body care kind of products, but I do use it on my face. And once I use up the Acure and the Coco Kind one, I'll probably just try to finish off the ThinkSport one on my face and neck as opposed to buying another facial one. And then I can reevaluate which one I really want to have. Or maybe at that point, I might want to try something else. I really want to try some super goop products or even the Crave Beauty Beat Shield. So once I work my way through maybe one or two of these, I might end up grabbing something else. But realistically, I only need one SPF probably. So 
We will see. I don't really feel like I super need to try either of those formulas immediately, but there's something that's on the back of my mind for the future. And then the next category is the overnight treatments. I really didn't know how to categorize these products, so I put them together. They're both basically like hydrating night facials, I guess. I don't know how to describe this category, but it's only two products. One is the Summer Fridays um, Jet Lag Mask, which is super, super rich, so I only use it overnight if my skin is very, very parched. And the other one is by Derma E. It's an overnight facial, and quite honestly, I'm not super familiar with it yet. I used it one time and I did get a pretty bad breakout and I wasn't sure if it was attributed to that product. So I've been kind of weary about continuing to use it, but I do definitely need to put it to the test seeing as I have it in my collection. And this was a really great reminder that I need to use what I own and not just like let it sit and expire in my drawer. So I'm gonna work my way through those. The Summer Fridays one is just a mini. And as you can see, I kind of like clipped it up because there's very, very little product remaining in it. And I'm really looking forward to using that up. It has been, it has been such a treat to use that product. I really do enjoy it. This next category is spot treatments. And I do have two products in this category. They're both several years old at this point, And they are from the time when I did suffer with really bad cystic acne prior to going on my acne medication. So they have been sitting in my collection for absolutely forever, but they both seem to be very effective and still continue to work when I do get pretty angry acne. I can use them both for treating my acne and like helping it subside overnight. So I'm not looking to replace these yet, but when I do finish one up, I probably won't need to repurchase that that time. I might just end up having one item being the tea tree oil. I just find that that lasts for forever. The Kate Somerville one is good, but I just don't really think that that's a necessity in my personal routine. This next category, I really didn't know how to categorize it again, and I really didn't know where else these would belong. These are the balm type products or like the hydrating kind of products. So I have two in this category. One is a tub of Vaseline that I've had for freaking years. I've lived in my apartment for five years and I brought that with me and it's not even like halfway empty. <laughs> I use it so infrequently, but for some reason I can't seem to part with it because I know it's petroleum. So I just don't want to only put it in the trash. I want to get use out of it. Um, but then the other one is a bit newer to me and it is the My Matcha Stick by Coco Kind. This is like a multi-purpose kind of balm. So I didn't want to put it in with the lip products because I'm not using it exclusively for that, but I do tend to use it when I have super dry spots on my face or even like on my knuckles and on my wrists, like um, spots that get very, very dry and I find I need a lot more intense moisture. I don't really use the Vaseline, but I can't seem to part with it because I don't know. It just, I can't, I don't know why. Okay. And the next category is eye creams. I put basically any eye treatment sort of product into this category. So I have four products in this category, two of which are eye creams. One is a caffeine treatment and the other one is an eye balm, but these are products I can only use in the eye area. They're not suited to any other part of the face. So they're all together. I'm totally happy with this number. The caffeine solution, I tend to kind of forget to use. So I, it was a really good reminder to see this going through my inventory. The Derma E eye cream is almost done and I do have a backup thankfully because they sent that to me, which I love because that is my favorite eye cream. And then the Kapari eye balm, I really do enjoy. I'm super happy to have that in my collection. I love using it as an overnight kind of like intensive under eye treatment. And I'm working my way through that quite slowly, but I'm enjoying every moment of it. So this category I am totally, totally cool with. This next category is lip scrubs. And this is a category that I oftentimes do kind of neglect, but I only have two in this category. So I don't feel like super guilty about that. One of them is the Kapari one, which I've had for a couple years now, and it seems to have held up very, very well. I still really enjoy it when I do need it. And the other one is the Catrice. It's a lip scrub and balm kind of product. So it's like a scrub suspended in a balm. And I just don't tend to reach for that very often. So what I actually think now that I've kind of reevaluated my skincare inventory is I think I'm gonna pop it into my shower and use it in the shower the same way that I used up my 
um, Lush scrub in the past and I've used up an e.l.f. scrub in the past as well in that way because I just tend to forget to use it and um, I think something like this would be perfect for using in the shower. So yes, anyways, I'm totally cool with it being only two products, but one would be more than sufficient, I think. I tend to even just use like my washcloth and kind of buff on my lips, or I can even just use like coffee grounds. Sometimes I will do that, like after I've made my coffee in the morning and I'm sitting down to drink it and uh, I'm about to do my skincare, I'll literally take some of the grounds and just like rub them on my lips or on a Saturday morning, I will use that on my body. That's totally besides the point. I just don't really need a lip scrub in my life, but the ones that I have, I will get use out of and reevaluate from there. And then the next category is lip balms. So I have seven lip balms that I could hunt down. I may have more kicking around, to be honest. I have lip balms in like every single jacket pocket, in my car, which I don't even drive anymore. I have them in backpacks and in bags and in pant pockets. I tend to like, put on a pair of pants or shorts that I wore last summer and find a lip balm in there all of a sudden. So I may have more, but I did try my best to find them. I do have a few that are sitting in my skincare empties, I think, maybe one or two. So recently it was as high as maybe 10, but we're down to seven now. One is almost done. That sugar one from Fresh is almost done because I've had that for freaking ever. And then I have a backup of my absolute fave, which is the Kopari Lip Glossy, and I'm almost done the EOS ones, both of those, because those are from like many Christmases ago, so I've been working my way through those. I don't need seven, especially considering I don't leave my house at the moment. I could do with probably three or four, but I wouldn't want to bring it down to one, because I like to have one in my bedside table, and like I said, in my jackets, one here at my desk. I just like having a handful of lip balms all around so that I can feel nice and nourished and comfortable no matter what. <laughs> so seven is totally cool, but that number is slowly going to minimize, I think, just in the immediate future, but I'm not gonna ever be mad about having many a lip balm. And then that takes me to the final category we're going to be talking about today, which is lip treatments. I didn't put these in with lip balms because I don't use these in the same way. So I have three products in this category, all three of which I did receive in PR from Catrice. So they're like lip masks or more like intensive overnight lip treatments. And the lip oil one, I've not yet used. I've not even tried it, I don't think. But in any case, this was a really great reminder because I totally forgot I had that. I absolutely love that lip treatment, by the way, that one in the little glass pot. It is so good. I use that every single night right before bed and it's very intense and rich, but not like slippy. So it doesn't feel like it's getting all over my face. It is so good. I freaking love that product. Yes, on that note, that wraps up all of the categories that I'm gonna be breaking down for you today. I really don't feel the need to break down any of my body care kind of products because I have one body lotion, I have like a body oil, I have one self tanner, I have one um, bar of body soap right now. Like I'm very minimal when it comes to my body care products. So I don't feel the need to even break those down. But when it comes to like facial skincare, I have 59 products. Not sure that I need to have 59 products. A lot of these categories could be minimized, although I don't feel like this is out of hand either. Like I enjoy having some options for when my skin has different needs but I really don't foresee this number needing to be this high. So by the end of this year, perhaps I could bring this down to something like 50 or 45, something along those lines. I wouldn't want to pressure myself to really bring this down and then my skin care like suffer from that. But yeah, I think that this was a really good and insightful kind of activity for me. There also were other items in my collection prior to the beginning of this year, which you will see in my empties. Whenever I do end up filming that, probably sometime in the middle of February, you will see some empties that were not talked about in this video because I had already finished them up. So I didn't count them in my inventory because there was no product to count. But there are some like lip balms and moisturizers and that kind of stuff that's in there. Um, so you will see some reviews of products that are outside of what is in my skincare inventory at the moment. And I just want to note that if you have more or less skincare than me, like no matter what the situation is, I am in no way, shape or form judging you whatsoever. I am just talking about these numbers specific to my own collection and my own usage. 
I, do, I honestly do not care less what other people have and what makes them happy and how they want to consume and use things in this world. It does not bother me whatsoever to know that somebody has like 30 serums but it's just not for me. Just keep that in mind, please. That is not my intent whatsoever. I have no sense of judgment of anyone else's collection, life, wardrobe, like literally makeup collection, anything. I have no sense of judgment of that whatsoever in any capacity because we all are on different journeys. We all have different hobbies, different things add value to our lives. It is what it is. But yeah, that's gonna be everything for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing my full skincare inventory. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.